The patient seen in this video presented with basal cell carcinoma, which is the most common type of skin cancer. It's estimated that approximately 4 million cases of basal cell carcinoma are diagnosed in the United States every year. For this type of skin cancer on the face, and especially on the nose, we perform a procedure called Mohs Micrographic Surgery. Originally developed in the 1930s by Dr. Frederick Mohs at the University of Wisconsin, Mohs Micrographic Surgery has been refined into the most advanced, precise, and effective treatment for an increasing variety of skin cancer types. The Mohs surgery process starts when the roots of a skin cancer extend beyond the visible portion of the tumor. If the roots are not removed, the cancer will recur. Local anesthesia is injected to numb the area completely and the visible portion of the tumor is removed. A first layer of tissue with a narrow margin around the tumor is surgically removed. The wound is bandaged temporarily while lab work begins and the patient sits comfortably waiting. That entire process can take approximately 10 to 15 minutes. After the first layer is taken, the patient is made comfortable and escorted to the waiting room while they will wait while the tissue is processed and then examined by the Mohs surgeon personally to look and see if there is any remaining cancer that is seen. As we take the layer of skin from the patient and the patient is waiting, that process takes about an hour and the patient is waiting during that time. If more tissue is necessary to be taken because there is skin cancer that remains, the patient will be escorted back to the operating room, again awake, additional local anesthetic will be added if necessary to keep the patient comfortable, and another layer will be taken. This procedure is repeated until the tumor is completely removed and the margins are clear. Once the margins are clear, we are able then to look at the defect and decide the most appropriate way to reconstruct the defect in order to have the best cosmetic outcome. This can vary depending on where the tumor is located, how big it is, and how deep the tumor has penetrated. The human body is able to regenerate skin and oftentimes, if chosen for the appropriate defect, this can lead to a very excellent cosmetic outcome with minimal scarring for a shallow defect in the appropriate location. More often, we have to suture the wound in order to get a cosmetic outcome that is appropriate. Most commonly, we suture the wound in a straight line, also known as a linear repair. If we are near a free margin, such as the nose, eyelid, or ear, where there is not enough tissue to bring the skin together as a straight line, we often then have to use a skin flap or a skin graft to repair the wound. A skin flap is when tissue that is adjacent to the defect is moved into the area to close the defect. A skin graft, on the other hand, moves tissue from a distant location, often from behind the ear or in front of the ear, to the area in order to close the defect, like a patch. If the tumor is very small and superficial, sometimes we allow the tumor to heal by itself. This is called granulation or second intent. Following reconstruction, Patients are comfortable and able to drive themselves home. If a wound is allowed to heal on its own, it can take anywhere from two to six weeks to heal on its own. If sutures are placed, oftentimes healing is faster, often within a week to 10 days. These are photos from the patient a month after the skin is still continuing to heal and the scar will continue to diminish over the next six months to a year. Usually by six months of the year, the scar is undetectable. This is a photo of the patient immediately following surgery with sutures placed. 
As you can see, the cosmetic outcome is excellent, the nostril is intact, and the nose is midline. With the most technique, an appropriately trained physician can precisely identify and remove an entire tumor while leaving the surrounding healthy tissue intact and unharmed. Mohs surgery offers the highest potential for a cure, even if the skin cancer has been previously treated by another method.